Hello and welcome back everyone, it is Crazy Welder again, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I've basically done with my Accelero Extreme mod for my R9390X. Now, you may have seen my previous videos on this GPU, and specifically the cooling mod on it, but if you haven't, go ahead and take a look at those, I'll throw the links in the description below. And now what I'm going to talk about today specifically is what I ended up actually doing um, in addition to buying the Accelero Extreme 4 for my GPU. And one of the biggest things that I did was actually I ended up basically buying a um, number of chips that will actually cool the RAM chips on the graphics card itself, as well as modifying my original GPU cooler that was kind of on it, um, on some of the chipsets on the card itself. And what you're seeing here in front of you right now is actually the, um, the thing that I modified. And this particular device was basically something that was already on the card itself, but I took a Dremel to it and I ended up painting over it with some heat um, resistant paint. Uh, the paint is resistant up to about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's perfectly suitable for the, the needs that I have. And uh, the issue was that basically the card ended up getting some really extreme VRM temperatures. And so as a result, I ended up talking with a number of YouTubers online and also ultimately checking my temps and seeing that I too was basically a victim of getting high VRM temperatures after installing this mod. And the chief reason for that um, in my case was that I had actually had to remove um, this black piece that you see in front of you from the card originally because it did not fit under the cooler. But what I would strongly recommend you do is if you do end up getting the Accelero Extreme 4 that either you replace this cooler or you end up doing the same mod that I did because it is really imperative to your temperatures. What I noticed is that my card would actually end up getting um, different lag spikes as a result of me basically not um, having it on there um, because the VRMs would jump up significantly and some other chips on the card would basically end up getting overheated. And as a result, I was getting VRMs and other temperatures on the card that were in excess of 90 degrees Celsius, which is very hot. Now, the card was designed to run at these temperatures on these chips, but nonetheless, it does not really help the longevity of those components or the graphics card itself. And, you know, you could argue that uh, probably I wouldn't be keeping this card for as long as, um, you know, its shelf life would be with these components running as hot as it is. But nonetheless, it's good to have every temperature, you know, in, uh, in a certain margin that's really acceptable, which to me would be, you know, hopefully no more than uh, 70 or 80 degrees for those components. And that's exactly what this mod essentially solves. And um, what I'm going to show you now is actually the uh, the memory cooling um, little chips that I got online. They're, they're actually um, basically copper. And so you put them on, uh, you end up putting them on the memory uh, for the graphics card itself because the stock plate that comes with it was originally designed to attach to the stock backplate of the card, but obviously seeing as how we do not have the stock backplate on this card, we now have the huge heatsink, uh, basically that no longer works, and so having these little copper cooler fins on there definitely helps out with the temperatures as well. And what I've come to notice is that uh, those do get pretty warm after you run the card just simply by touching them with my hand. Um, you know, if you've got an infrared um, or laser heat sensor or something like that at your house, you can actually check that out yourself. Um, you know, that, that'll kind of give you an idea of how hot this stuff actually runs. Now, for me, this was basically the solution. So as you can see here in this picture, basically I put them on every single part of the, the memory in the card, and you see the modified cooler for the other chips on the card as well. And ultimately, this is what's keeping my card cool. I will end up doing another video um, in a little bit here that will ultimately show the temperatures that I'm getting now. And you will see how that compares to even the stock card, um, you know, because the stock card was running significantly hotter. And uh, my temperatures were definitely very, very high, um, despite, you know, the, the stock plates covering all of those components originally it still ended up heating up quite a significant amount. So with this, the reduction is definitely very big, and I strongly recommend that if you do get the Accelero Extreme 4 that you perform this mod, um, perhaps first and foremost before installing the rest of the kit, because it will really save you from headaches later on down the road, and it will keep your card operating op at optimal temperatures all across the board. So this is my video, guys. I'm keeping this one nice and short. Hopefully it helps those of you out that are getting this mod and they're doing it on this card. Um, I would strongly suggest you do that on other video cards as well if um, for whatever reason you're unable to keep the stock cooling plates on there as it will significantly decrease the amount of stuttering you'll get in certain games and certainly it will increase the longevity of the card's life. 
um, which ultimately means that you'll be able to sell it later on down the road for probably an even higher price um, than most of the other cars that have the stock coolers on them and uh, that will definitely help you, uh, you just in the long term in general as well as running games that ultimately will stress the card you know quite a significant amount so that's my video folks come in and tune in for the next one that I have which will be actually looking at the temperatures for this stuff and I'll see you all then take care